Hello YouTube and welcome to another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. I will be playing as the Scout class on King of the Hill Nucleus. Um, I'm playing with mostly the default loadout in this video. I am using the Scattergun, the pistol, both of which are default, and I'm using the Fish Bat. You probably saw me flinging that thing around in spawn. So I'm going to come up behind the sniper and bam, one, two, three shots. He's down. Come up behind the soldier, get a nice pick on him. Boom, and he's down too. Nice way to start off the video there with my teammates supporting me right in the back there. So. Um, during this game, I was playing with my friend Embers. We had been joining up. Had a really good night. Um, this was just last night when I recorded this. It was really fun. Had a great time. Best I've played in a long time. And so I felt like recording. Had a couple of good rounds before this. Not on the same map, of course. But we were playing on Harvest. Did really, really well. Couldn't, like, just couldn't believe how well I was doing. Just had to jump out and, um, turn on Fraps. Start recording. It was awesome. Um, so... The topic of this video was going to be some basic scout tips, because I don't think I ever did a video with basic scout tips. Um, so, as many of you know, Scout is the lightest class in the game, he's also the fastest, and he has a couple key skills that make him really good at those, and other than that, he's not that good, like he's very weak, he can get one shot very easily by explosive um, classes or power classes such as the Soldier or the Demo Man. The Heavy is probably his arch nemesis, as it's very difficult as a scout to take down a full health Heavy, and even more difficult to take out an overhealed Heavy, although it is possible. Um, so to start off with, the thing you're going to want to do if you're just starting as a scout is um, find the scout weapon that's easiest for you to aim with starters, because really, it doesn't matter what weapon you're using at the beginning, as long as you are um, getting that essential twitch aim. And you'll see as I go throughout this video, I'll like walk along, and then as I see an enemy, my aim will twitch. Right there, I twitched twice. Um, didn't hit him at all, but that's okay. So it's very important to twitch aim. Um, it's basically the one... It's basically the easiest way to hit people. So to do that, you're going to want to find a comfortable sensitivity. Now, some people will tell you that it's supposed to be really high. Some people will tell you that it's going to be really low. But ultimately, I'd say just stick with, get one sensitivity that feels pretty comfortable and stick with it. Especially find one that works for all the classes, unless you're just going to play one class. And so I wouldn't recommend that. So I have my sensitivity set to about, um, I don't know, I think... I have so many different games, I can't remember which sensitivity is for what. Like, I think 86 I have on Minecraft Pocket Edition, or I don't know. But, <laughs> um, you want to find one that's comfortable and stick with that. So, that's the basic, um, just intro. Find one of the shotguns that works well for you. The Scattergun, honestly, is the best. So, if you want to get a head start on learning how to play Scattergun very well, then definitely start using that from the get-go. Get good with it, and start, um, advancing up in the ranks of being a scout. Or, I guess kind of psychological ranks, because in my mind there are a couple scout ranks. There's the noob who kind of runs around with the, probably usually the force of nature because it does the most damage and just kind of hits people, usually falls off stuff, runs right into pyros and stuff. And as if you're in that situation, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're just going to want to um, try to choose your battles a little more tactically. And as I almost mentioned in every one of my videos, as one of my friends pointed out, um, be sure to pick your battles and be sure to run away if you don't feel like you can win one. It doesn't. You don't have to die to win a battle. So, um, just so start off with getting the basics down with your with your shotgun and remember that your pistol is a good option. So especially with some of those guns that have um, lower clip counts, especially the Force of Nature and the Soda Popper, where you only have two shots and you can blow through them really quickly. This the pistol is essential to being able to back yourself up because say you get um two hits on a, on a heavy and you know he's close to death and you don't want to run away even though you're low on health you can whip out that pistol and just spam because you've got 12 shots in that pistol to be able to take people out you'll probably see me in a couple situations in this video just whip out my pistol and man I just got completely bashed with the shield charge there <laughs> so um basic and as for the melee um if you if you really think that a melee is going to help you all that much, I don't use mine that much. I usually only use mine if I know that someone's weak and I can finish them off. Like, if I've got insanely high health and I've still been, um, I've still been whittling down their health for a while, I know they're low, I can go in with the fish or the bat or the sandman and take a few hits. But, honestly, I wouldn't recommend using a melee item too, too much. I mean, you see a whole bunch of scouts running around just doing nothing but using their bat. That's really not a good tactic at all, so don't be one of the bat scouts that just runs around spamming their mouse button. <laughs> there you can see me typing to my team, get on the point! Yep. Part of that is, um, leadership. I don't know if too many people do this in TF2, but... I like, if I see that my team is not really responding, not really getting on the point, I will call out in chat, or if I was dead there, I will, um, 
I will type out in chat, get on the point or something like that. Just something big that they can all see or all hear. They'll kind of rally them together and remind them, oh yeah, there's an objective that we should be playing. And so, that's important. Oh my gosh, I just got killed by Dead Mouse. Do you think it's actually him? Yeah, no. Um... So, I hope you guys have been enjoying my Team Fortress 2 videos as of late, even though there haven't been any recently. I've been a little bit busy with school, um, and I have a little bit of a spoiler alert. There might be something coming for you guys later this week, late this week. I'm looking into starting up something that starts with a 2 and has a couple episodes, and it's something that you guys have all wanted for a long time, and I've been kind of putting off, and I've decided to start putting that together. I'm going to try to make it quite professional, quite well done. I'm going to do a little bit more editing for it because, honestly, I haven't done too much editing up till now on any of my projects, any of my videos. So I hope you guys are as excited I am for uh, Blank Blank, Blank Craft Season 2. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, overall, I'm sorry for not posting videos recently. I've been a little bit busy with different things. I've been busy with school as of late. I've been a little bit busy with... Um, Android development. I've been getting back into making apps. Um, I can give a little backstory here. I took a class on making apps last year, and it was a lot of fun, and I've just started getting back into it, so I'm excited about that, because now I actually have a device that I can test my apps on, my Nook tablet, so that's pretty nice. I'll be able to just test them right on there, so a lot easier than having like borrow someone else's phone and use that instead. So overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It is starting to come to a close here. I'm not going to give away anything, but at this point, we are losing by about 30 seconds. I see this engineer, and this engineer, like, in the past, like, in the next, like, minute of the game, that's all I do is try to take out this engineer. I'm like, dog engineer. So I see this sentry, and I'm like, get killed. And then, yep, there he goes. So uh, throughout this video, you've seen embers going around getting some sneaky stabs. He's a pretty good, um, he's a pretty good spy. So if you are feeling the lack of spy quality content on this channel, I would suggest going over to Ember's channel, which the link will be in the description. He posts some awesome spy gameplays. Like, I don't know how he does this. It's, it's amazing. I don't know. Like, it's incredible. I could never be as good a spy as he is. So I hope you guys will go check him out. And here we go. We got 10 seconds. I'm on the point, defending the point, playing the objective. See this engineer? I'm like, no, engineer, go away. And of course, the thing that always happens, I die. Top frag him like a boss on King of the Hill, Nucleus. Thank you for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.